Hello again. Just doing part two of my food review for a follow up for the first one I've done just now. So bear with me. We just go from go through them all very quickly and go through the rest of the things that I wanted to talk about, which I've tried over the lockdown. Just remember, this has been over months, so it's not all in one week or even one month. It's been since probably the end of May. So okay. let's start off with fries, chicken star burgers. They're not bad. Not bad at all. Fries, I find them as a company, a very mess. The burgers were all right, but they weren't the greatest thing in the world. So I'm gonna give them seven out of 10. I'm just gonna cut through it straight to the point. So seven out of 10 on them. Out of that, um, they've got a wonderful product, but I haven't got it. I'm not doing it tonight. So we'll go through that later on. They do do one wonderful, but I'm gonna give them seven out of 10. I buy them again, but I won't rush to buy them. Okay, so I'll leave it there. Then I'll go to Cold One Vegan organic teriyaki tofu it's good i can't tell you too much about i had that right at the beginning of june middle of june see so yeah it's been a while ago it was good though i've kept it because i wanted to review it i'm going to give that a 7.5 out of 10. i enjoyed it i had it with rice i can remember me having it but just you know it was good so 7.5 out of 10 i've not been i rush rushed i just wanted to then I'm going to do, this was an absolute gem. I had a wrap um, from M&S of all places, which is not the cheapest place in the world to go. I think it was about 350, I think it was, but it was, I, we went in there and I, I had no great expectations. I was in town, I don't like going to town. My daughter and I, and I got, you've got to try this. This is blooming lovely, so I'll show you, yeah. M&S plant, kitchen, smokehouse, no chicken. It was lovely. Plant based, totally delicious, vegan, and vegetarian friendly. It was great. I'm going to give that wrap for food takeaway 9 out of 10. Leave it there, 9 out of 10. It's great. So I'll leave it there on that one. Then, now I mentioned in the last one, um, those vegan guys, they were doing, and they were talking and they were ranting and raving about it. And I thought, I'll try them. And I'll try them again. Oh, it's not a good sign or a bad sign, I'm saying. I will have them again. But, um, they do a plant menu. Two no steak bakes. Sir protein in a rich gravy wrapped in puff pastry. I know. This was from Aldi. The price, I think they were like one one nineteen for two. I think. I'll have to do an update on that. Um They're alright. Eight out of ten, definitely. Eight out of ten, but you know, there might be room for me to go up again. I'll try them again. But you know, they were good. I just, uh, you know what I'm like. I just see how I felt at the time. Then this is some I had in July. Is what from Tesco's I got this plant, plantastic pure plant power, free lemon and turmeric flapjacks with linseed. They're lovely. Simple as. I can't remember how much they worked out. They weren't the cheapest thing in the world. They actually look like they, they actually do look like the package there. They're not the cheapest, but you know what? You want to treat yourself. One of the, they come in three nice inch, overpacked, but everything is, and it's part half the battles to keep it fresh, half the battles to keep it. Good. Um, gonna give them, I quite like them, I'm gonna give them eight out of ten. And uh, at some stage, also, I tried, you've got to try them, they got two cherry and chocolate flapjacks from Plantastics, they're nice too. I'm gonna give them eight out of ten, I'm not gonna do something. I'm 11, three. Now, during the vegan period, I've gone off chocolate a little bit, which is, that's not me, you know? So I'm gonna give them both eight or 10. The, the cherry makes up for it. And um, I've discovered, rediscovered in the last month to six weeks, a love for cherries. It's hard to explain. I'll talk about it when I talk about a certain cake at some stage, but the cherry and that and cherries a few times i even have cherries in some of my smoothie bowls now that i make so cherries are good i'll talk about them at some stage i'm just gonna not tonight that they're, they're, they're both eight out of ten this was a while ago oh end of july use my and m and i've been there twice they moved door oh this was at the height of when they were having all their issues with the covid and having the systems around and they moved everything and i couldn't find it and it, it was a pat i remember going in there that day it was a path it's not the cheapest, it's um, it's a 200 gram 
plant kitchen mushroom pie. I'm going to give that, I'll tell you what, I'm going to give it 8 out of 10. It was good. Um, it's an M&S though, isn't it? So you kind of lose a little bit in quantity. The quality's there, you might lose a little bit in quality. No, no, no the, the quality's there, you might lose a little bit in quantity because of the quality, but that's just M&S for you, isn't it? So I haven't got the thing fries do. I've had a couple of miss things and I've had a couple of great things from fries, which I did earlier with the chicken burgers. They're mushroom pies, which are out of stock in all the Tesco's at, at the moment. They are the bee's knees. So I'm gonna give them nine out of 10, 9.5 out of 10. If I wanted a pie, that mushroom pie from fries, they did pack the two, sorry. That's what I'm gonna give them, 9.5 out of 10. I'll do a review when they come back. I, I've had them a couple of times, they're lovely. I've talked about this before, fantastic, but I haven't had one for a while. I really haven't, but I had one at some stage. Trouble is they come frozen, so I couldn't tell you. It's the oomph Italian style. Send dried tomato rocket oomph made from soybeans. That's the pizza. That's the daddy. I I actually bought a pizza with cauliflower on it from um Aldi yesterday. I haven't had it yet, obviously, but that's the daddy at the moment. I like cauliflower, so could overtake it. But that is the pizza. I think it's two more things to do quickly and then that's it. I got these, these were on offer a few, about a month or so ago, and I bought them for my daughter as well. And they are actually, they do a few different ones, a chocolate one. This is a great product, but very expensive for a cereal. It's a cereal, very expensive. It's a bit of a luxury sort of thing, you know what I mean? So it's the Kellogg's Plant Protein Crunch Original, Iron Fiber. I love the bloody things. The trouble is, it's an expensive breakfast thing, you know. I can just have cornflakes or um, more like a um, rice krispies and porridge, even porridge, you know what I mean? So that's an expensive luxury though. And then I'm going to give a shout out, a big one up to, and I don't know, you know, I do, I'm a teaholic. I mean, I've even got a cup of tea here. The reason I be careful is that's the cup. I'm not going to show you, it's my daughter's cup, because I'm around my daughter at the moment, and um, it's a uni cup, so. That's got to get back in one piece if I was in trouble. She left a few years ago now and um, the cup's still going strong. This is um, a great thing. And my daughter pointed out it's part of the green aspect of what life and what we want to achieve and everything. PG Tips Biodegradable tea bags. What people do not realise about tea bags are the general bulk standard tea bag, they've got plastic in them, micro bits of plastic in them. I will say one thing about this though, they do break easy and you know, there is that breakage and I like a strong tea so the longer you're soaking it and the most useless present I had for my birthday was a bloody tea timer for my daughter, she got me a fantastic present which I'm going to do for her, I might do it on the tea timer as well. Oh, going back track, sorry, the Kellogg's, I'm going to give that an 8.5 out of 10, okay, luxury. PG teas, tea. But I wanted to shout out to PG because they are doing biodegradable and it's important. You know, is it worth paying double for? Uh, uh, I don't know, but you've got to give a shout out when someone does something positive. Well, I'm first to jump on the negative, I know that, so I've got to give a positive. The positive's going out there. And that's me being positive, isn't it? So, you know, shout out to PG again, and they're not, there's no sponsors on this, obviously, I haven't even got enough to subscribe, but you know, I'm just impressed at the fact that they are biodegradable. And that was 240, probably for about a fiver. Whereas T Pigs is like a fiver, four, four, 79 or something like that for 20. So, PG, they win. Not the strongest tea bag in the world, but that's partly down to me leave it there I'll just say take care stay safe and hopefully you find any of this you know interesting useful I hope so I just want to it's me trying to do a catch-up to get back on front of things you know because I got behind so I apologize for that it would never be like that again because that was a couple of months worth of oh, I've tried this I've tried that but just leave it there for now okay so I'll just say thank you very much for watching and take care speak soon bye